Hello, welcome back to the free show, Bumpy McSquigums here. It's time to continue with my Let's Play of Might and Magic Heroes 7. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on episode 6. We're on episode 6, we have... Oh boy, I forgot what her name is. Emeril, and we have good old oh, Thomas, or Thomas, there's no H, so he's just... Maybe he's Tomas? I don't know, he's Thomas. Anyhow, we have to go around and murder off some stuff. It's gonna be fine, maybe, possibly, probably? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, we didn't seem to keep a whole lot of our uh, troops... I feel like we got robbed a little. I suppose oh, that's okay, but we don't usually keep our troops. It's not normally a thing. So let's go to Brightsgate and get this all set up and ready to go. Hmm. We can build a marketplace. Alright, well, we need to go and capture some stuff, so maybe we should do that first. Alright, what level are you? Let's see. You're level 8. You're level 8. Good, they actually have it at the bottom. And the very easy to notice things. Alright, um. A doth I dare. What is this? It's a haven dwelling. Ooh, modest. They will fight us. Those are a bunch of pirates. Hmm. So Conrad, I guess, is blocking the way to the town until we actually clear out something. That being said, well, I'm going to do what I normally do, which is probably a horrible idea, just so you guys know. I like to play the death ball mentality and or strategy of things to do here. So what I'm going to do is just that. I'm going to try to death ball my way through. And that basically means one hero with everything focused into combat while the other hero runs around, snatches up a lot of goods and services and such. And hopefully this works out. The region is dangerous. It's good news that Lord Conrad took Brightsgate. People expect to be protected. Alright, so be it. We'll take a look over there and that should give us a better idea of what we're dealing with. And the, the general of the skinnity. What is this? It's a magical signpost. <laughs> to Hammerfall, the ancient eternal home of the bloodsmiths. This signpost has suffered attempts of destruction but is still standing. It's probably enchanted. Nice. Grab some ore, and it's time to do battle with the Minotaur. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we have all of these wonderful troops that we can uh, throw into play here. So, let's try to come up with some sort of configuration that isn't terrible. Hmm. I think it's going to be something along these lines. Sure, why not? Alright. Well, the wolves can move, the Minotaur don't have a ridiculously far move, and they are melee, but they're elite creatures, so this is going to take a little bit more oomph to kill. But I feel pretty confident that we have this. We're going to wait it out until they move closer. And it looks like every turn I'm going to be able to go... Alright, they will be able to close with us there. We're going to wait. Let's see what we can actually manage here. Aha! We did almost no damage. Yay! Alright, we're going to try this. We're going to do a blasty attack right there. And then we're going to follow it up by attacking him. And another follow-up attack. What? It did not do a tremendously huge amount of damage. Alright, all that being said, I think I'm going to move back here. And that is going to be outside his range. Alright, we're going to defend it with you. You are a bit closer, so we're going to back up here. And then sadly the wolf is actually in range. And always will be. So perhaps we sacrifice that we should have moved this guy further away. That's my own fault that this is happening. Uh, I suppose coming up here will probably be a decent play, and we might be able to kill this guy off before, well, horrible disaster strikes. I think if we attack now, we might actually be able to kill him. It's doubtful. Maybe with a lot of luck. Oh, he attacks first. He's got first strike capabilities. That's a bit unpleasant, and I don't think we killed him at all there. Hmm. That's not great. Alright, let's defend. <laughs> Gonna move to flank, and I guess we got a hit on him there. Hmm. Alright, let's actually take a look at what these guys do. 
This creature retaliates before it gets hit. Well, that's convenient, I suppose. Alright, looks like we should be able to get a kill, but we're gonna wait. I'll throw our chaplain's attack out. hi -ya! And then we'll be able to follow that up with another attack. Oh, good, the chaplain gets to go again. And in theory, we'll be able to kill him. We're gonna go for this guy. 2-4! We did one. Oh my gosh, we hit the, like, the bottom edge of the... Oh, that's so bad. The bottom edge of the RNG pool there. That was not great. Alright, and that leaves us with another move we can do here, which will probably end up getting us wrecked a little bit. Let's do it. Better they get wrecked than our other boys. And it sets them up for a better flanking. Oh, that's not really that great. I thought that might actually end up better off than it did. Hmm. Alright, I suppose our wolf is gonna come forward and do its best to get wrecked a little bit. Do some baby minor damage there. We're gonna throw out an attack. We're gonna attack with our guardian. Hopefully we're able to move with the guardian again. Nope. But it's gonna attack... The Guardian and the Wolf, and we just kind of wrecked him. That. that was not a good idea. Alright. Ah, acceptable losses. I say acceptable losses. Alright, so we've cleared out one of the mines. We shall gather up all of the goodies along the way. Actually, I shouldn't be doing that. I should just be clearing stuff out. We're going to fight this group. Apparently next turn. Before we leave and end our turn, we're going to go back to Bright's gate over here, or Bright's Great, as I think I was about to call it. Huh, it seems like we... Okay, we have more things that we can do now. Interesting. I still don't... Hmm. I still don't see the ability to recruit the champions. Because these guys are not champions, are they? They're elites. Yeah. We still don't have our angels that we can recruit, it seems. I assume they'll be down here or something along those lines. However, we did add wolves, apparently, to our our core, which I did not know existed, apparently. Enables the recruitment of dire wolves. This enables the recruitment of dire wolves as well. That doesn't seem very... Well, it is simply what it is. Let's go take a peek. The dire wolves... Oh, the silverback. There we go. That's what we get the upgraded to. Uh, feral charge, attacks you know without being limited in its movement range and without oh getting retaliated on. Nice, huh? It hits with a plus five attack, but its defense is reduced to zero until its next turn. Well, that's interesting. So we can actually charge across the map and just like lay into maybe some ranged combatants or something along those lines. Alright, so I think the first move is going to be to get ourselves some Archarians going, some ranged units. Getting them there stacked up and ready to go. And I don't know if we need to recruit just yet. I think we're going to hold off on that for now. Alright, time to end our turn. Again, she is the person who is supposed to be grabbing stuff, so there is that. Alright, we must do battle there with him. But before we do that, let's go over here get a little bit better view of what's going on in the whole little map here. The whole scenario. Alright. We have some gnolls over there that will probably murder us. Actually, those might not be gnolls. They kind of look like it from there. Maybe they're super gnolls. I don't know. And we have some normal guys there. A lot of stuff. Everything wants to fight us around here. Nothing just wants to be like, I want to love you and join you and be your buddy. There is no buddies to be had here. We're out of movement. We can't gather that up. That is one of those rally flags, though. That should help our whole scenario just a bit. Alright. So, we're going to go as Thomas, or Thomas, and we're going to try and do murder here. This actually looks like a, a bad fight for... Hold on. A bad fight for us. Ah, we'll lose some guys, but we'll take the fight. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> It is what it is, folks. It is what it is. I also think that maybe splitting up would be a decent idea here. That way we can't all be shot in a line. 
as is a thing that they like to do. What kind of spells do we have? We have Lightning Burst, Sunbeam, we have Firebolt. I just a flat regular attack is going to be the best. Five damage there. Lead by example, we'll wait our turn. We'll wait our turn again. One final time, they're going to move forward. And I don't know what their plans are exactly, but they are moving. Quite a few times, apparently. I'm going to move up this way. And I guess we attack you. We'll do a little bit of damage there. We'll do it again. Alright, and there's the shot. It wasn't really super impressive, to be honest. Alright, we'll focus fire you down. Ooh, we have the super high morale going our way. Our leadership is paying dividends right now. Alright, let's charge forward. And hit you once. Not too bad. We'll come around to the back side, I think. Now we're gonna... Yeah, yeah. We'll attack from the side. That's fine. And we should be able to attack from here. It's flanking. And apparently it's enough to kill. Wow, that was a really quick attack. That worked exceptionally well. I must admit, I'm a bit blown away by it, you can say. Alright. We should be able to... I'm just actually going to use a, a, a little cheating tactic here. If I attack now, the problem's going to be that he's going to get hit. Well, we're still going to get attacked by that guy, more than likely. However, he's not going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot. So we're going to attack you. I'd love to lead by example, but no, I'm kidding. It's fine. He's more than likely going to move there, and if he does, we should be within range to do some work against him. And he's going to attack. Nope. Oh, and he's still standing. That is perfect. All right, we're going to go up and attack our boy here. A little bit of side flank action. And a little bit of side flank action again. So better than not chance that the doggy is going to die. And I'm okay with that. I've accepted it and moved on. Alright, we'll attack there. And it's their turn. Oh, they're just going to defend right now. Okay. That's even better than what I was hoping for. Alright, we can go over here. 6 to 12. Of them will perish. And then we can follow it up with, well, the kill. Dead. <laughs> this is such a fast attack, it's ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna defend with our boy here. And then we're gonna send our folks in to deal with the final individual trying to slay us. There's the attack. The retaliatory strike, not super impressive. Five to nine are going down next. And then we're gonna move in and get six to twelve down. And the final one. Oh. Good to do it with you. Kudos, good job. Again, I have to say acceptable losses. And we get a level. Six and three, totally worth it. Outplayed. Alright, we're going to tag up the building here. I'm going to check on what we can build. If we need more resources, I'll grab them. If we don't, which it does not look like we do right now, I will probably bypass them, I guess. Requirements not fulfilled. Oh, we have to have the magic guild in order to... Okay. Okay. We can only build one. Hmm. Light spells cast by your hero are cast on the next higher rank. Um, plus 15 chance for negotiations with neutral armies for your town... Oh, for your heroes in this town's area of control. Um... I think I'm going to go with that one. But do I want to do that yet? I don't think so. I think I'd rather get this first. Be able to build up some troopage. Alright, we can't gather the troops yet, but we can at least build them up. Alright, looks like there's another mine there, and... There's one down here. And that might be it. There might be more over here, too. I mean, let's, let's be real. There's the probability that there's actually several more along the lines, or along the way. 
Alright, we'll tag all this wonderful fun stuff up, and we'll head on over here and snag some gold along the way. Uh, we don't have to grab that, and I don't know that there's a mine up there. A warehouse. Ooh, that seems pretty cool. That's another new thing I hadn't seen before. Alright, next up we'll fight the wolves, I guess. And maybe we could fight the... Yeah, we could fight the gnolls, too, if we had to. Meh. I say meh. Alright. Well, let's grab the gold. Let's... Nope, nope, nope. Stop it. Oh, I just wanted to attack from the backside. Uh, well, I guess it's not going to let me. Whatever. Alright. We'll start the combat, I guess. I wanted to tag the uh, little wood behind him and then just kill him. And then get the resources and leave. Or even leave the resources and just leave. But none of that happened, so kind of sucked. Whatever. Alright, triple doggies are coming our way. They should join us. They should be all like, we love you. But they're not going to. Why? Because they're cowardly. Alright, we're going to wait it out. And boom. Alright, could definitely kill them. How much can we kill of these guys? Not as much as I'd like. Alright, we're going to kill them off. Attack! Alright, we're going to wait. And we're going to wait. Then we're going to chaplainize you. <laughs> That's going to do a bit of damage. Not a tremendously huge amount. Yeah, we'll go for the kill on these. It shouldn't be that bad. Bam. Or BAP, as it were. He's able to move there. I'm okay with that. Alright, I guess we can just move here and wait. And I guess... Move here? And just defend with him. I assume the doggy's gonna move down here, but maybe... No oh, he just had a low morale. Oh, he just failed his morale check, I think. Or maybe it's just a weird sound. Maybe that's a defense sound. I heard something that was different. That is a defense sound. My apologies, folks. He did not have a morale failure. But he had a life failure. He attacked the wrong target. Alright, another level up. I should probably spend some of my level up points. Alright, so the number of friendly creatures is increased by 5% at the start of combat. Creatures added this way will not remain in the army after combat, but I believe if they die, it doesn't count against your actual stack. I'm not sure, though. But we're totally going to learn that. Alright, so my next plan was to get some uh, expert movement going on, but I don't know, the ideas of getting Victoria's Streak. Friendly creatures deal 75% damage and have 75% movement during morale turns instead of half and half. Oh. Huh. That doesn't sound terrible. We already have one of those. Maybe we should continue on down this way. The righteous morale bonus is increased by an additional plus two morale. Whenever a friendly creature has good morale, all other friendly creatures get plus two. Huh. I don't know, man. The movement. We're gonna go movement. At least one point into it. Alright. And there we go. Lots of the play. Hmm... Where to go now? Maybe we go out that? Yeah, let's go out that. I'm gonna go here, tag this up, get our rally on, and then we're gonna come murder this group. Should be okay. But only time will tell. Alright. Let's start this combat up. Some skeletons are gonna come at us and be like, We're gonna kill you! And we're gonna be like, No! Alright, let's wait our turn. But first, let's hit the... It's a hoplite, a skeleton hoplite, I think is what these things are called. Yeah, let's skip over him for now. Do a lot of waiting. They should be closing with us now. There they go. And we should be able to blast them with ranged attacks of death. That's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, there's a pretty good shot there. We're going to focus down this guy a little bit. And it's going to be fine. Alright, let's get a little bit closer in on the action. Do I want to try and kill you? I think I do. Won't be able to, though. Hmm. Well, we'll give it a shot. Maybe we get super high luck. I doubt it, but maybe. Ah, oh, we lost one. Well, it is simply what it is. Meh. I say meh. We have to defend for you. 
You're ridiculous. I kind of just want to send you in anyway. It's because you, like, you take zero damage and you just murder things straight up like it's no big deal. You're just like, whatevs, bring it on. I don't even care. Oh, we got high morale. We get another kill. Yeah. Alright, let's smack you. I guess we could probably hit you. I don't think your retaliatory strike is going to kill more than one wolf. There it is. The one wolf kill. We're going to drop you. And if we still have one wolf at the end of this, that means that indeed they do not... Like, they kill off the reinforcements first. Which is pretty sweet, I must admit. Alright, the attack is real. The skeleton dude's like, hmm, I didn't think this one through. We're kind of getting right. Ooh, high luck. Can we get that again, please? Not so much. Alright, we're gonna back off. I think uh, retreating right now is not necessarily a bad thing. Now we're just going to pretty much run away, and when they go to close with us again, we're going to pick them off with our ranged units. It is simply what it is. There's a good nasty shot right there. Followed up with another nasty shot from the chaplain. It's like, die, you horrible, horrible miscreants. We might as well throw in a hero damage there as well. And the potential kill is not a potential. It is a successful kill. There we go. Right, they are very, very boisterous and, and crazy. Like, yeah, look at this kill. They uh, party, they dance on the corpses. It's it's creepy, I'm not going to lie. It's a little creepy. Alright, we're going to tag that. What is this? South Star. It's, uh, there's nothing there. Can I just, like, walk right up there? Ooh, severe. No, I can't just walk right up there. That would probably be what's considered a mistake. Alright, what do we have left? Capture the mines. We have one more to capture, and it is the gold mine over here. It is. So that's going to have to be our next play, heading on over that way. That's fine with me. We'll clear out that guy along the way. We will tag this up, and then we will go and gather up all the remaining stuff that we left behind. Wait, 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 wait. First, we're going to tag this. That way we don't forget, because I am prone to forgetting things. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about, of course. You know that my memory is as sharp as attack. It actually is pretty sharp. When I have to think about things that have happened, not necessarily when I have to remember to do things. So my memory is good, but my rememory isn't great. If that's a thing, I don't think it is. But if it was, yeah. All right, let's. I guess we're gonna go this route. Oh, what is this? Oh, we can get. Oh, okay. Alright, I think we're going to go with the uh, Embassy. I think that's going to be the play. And I think if we can get some more... What, what levels are city right now? Is it 6? I think it's higher than... No, it is 6. Alright, we can't build this until we're level 9. So we're going to have to get 3 more buildings before that happens. Probably get some fortifications and stuff up. Maybe get some of these uh, troop buildings just so we get more of the low-end troops before the end of the week. I'm not entirely certain what the best play is going to be, but we're going to end our turn and see what's next to be sure. Defenders of Hammerfall. Aren't we the defenders of Hammerfall? I thought we were. Hmm. I feel like we've been lied to all this time. Alright, we're going to come over here and... More gold for the coffers. We're going to come over here. Here. Here, maybe? There is a crystal there. I can't pick it up yet, though. That is okay. Alright, we're going to attempt to grab these guys. They don't want to join us. They're like, nope, mm -mm. Sorry. <laughs> so, it looks like it is simply what it is. Oh, it did kill off our wolf. That's terrible. I thought our wolf would survive. I'm so sad right now. That is really bad. Hmm. Okay, well, apparently it does not kill the reinforcements first, like I thought. Uh, the way reinforcements used to work is exactly as I had stated, but that is no longer the case. So, there is that. I'm also thinking that maybe we should do this. That way, if I have to move that guy out, we can do it. Oh, I thought there was two marksmen and a... 
Oh, it's two crossbowmen and a marksman. Okay, I thought there were uh, two ranged and a melee, but that is not the case. Alright, what do we have? We have a lot of nothing. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're going to use storm arrows, maybe? And we're going to walk a little bit closer. Make them a bit sad that we exist. And hopefully this works out. There's no guarantee. Alright, we're going to try to do as much damage to this dude as we can. And I think that's pretty much it. Eh. Minorly inconvenient. Eh. Unpleasant at worst. And it's our turn again. Well, I suppose shooting you would be the best play. As you guys see, the initiative rule does not apply to this game at all. So, there is that. Alright, should be able to annihilate you. And indeed, that was a thing. So fast, such a quick attack. I love it. I love it to death. Um, how much health do you have left? Ten. We're gonna wait. Oh, we can't wait. We're gonna defend. Alright, we're gonna attack you with everything we've got. The attack is real. Ow. The counter stab is real as well. I'm gonna come over here and stab at you. And then we're gonna go behind and stab you again. And then we're going to try to kill off the only ranged individuals left. Hindsight being what it is, I probably should have just gone and blocked him off. But that's okay. Because we have the potential to do the majority of its... Nope, not quite enough. I'm okay. We're still acceptable losses, guys. Acceptable losses. Alright, you're dead and the other guy's dead too. There's no way he survives this. And victory is ours. We're probably going to go one more turn after this, guys, and then we'll break off the episode. Well, I try to keep my videos around 25 minutes, so somewhere between 20 and 30, or even 25 and 35 is okay. But it doesn't always work out. Some are a little bit shorter, some are a little bit longer. But 25 is always the goal. I know right now I'm about 27 minutes in. I should technically break it off here, but I don't mind going to 30, guys, and I know you don't either. You want to see things happen, so we're going to try to make stuff happen, folks. That is the play. The plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. We're doing a little bit of gathering with him, but not like a tremendously huge amount. I don't think it's hindering us too, too much. Alright, let's take a look around. Um, well, I think we're going to want to grab up more archers. I don't really care so much about the wolves. I mean, wolves are great and all, and sure, they're probably menacing on the battlefield. Oh gosh, there's a wolf coming! You know, you, you get a little panic there. A little panic stricken, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I also think I'm going to probably go kill that first, take it over, then come down here and get this, because this will enable us to get additional creatures, which would be pretty good. So that's going to be the play. So let's end the turn. And the turn of House Materia and the Defenders of Hammerfall. Though I'm really, really close. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, we're just going to do it this way. I changed my mind. I talk myself out of things all the time, guys. It's fine. All right, we're going to start at the combat. We're going to hope that we're powerful enough to deal with this. I think we'll be okay. We'll see, though. We shall see. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's see what you can. Bring it on. All right. Harpies. Wyverns and some gnolls in the background. Okay. Ow! You're throwing bones at me, man. Throwing bones. What's that about? It's fine. All right, we can kill off all of the harpies, and I think we will. Gonna do pretty good damage to the dudes in the back line as well. I'm liking the guardians in there. They're actually pretty crazy high damage. I was also looking at them, guys. Compare. Look, look how high their attack is. It's ridiculously high, and their defense is ridiculously high. Their biggest problem is their uh, movement. So. I'm thinking about this now, and I, I didn't mention this on the last episode, but I had done some thinking. I still went with the Abbots because that's what I did before. But I feel like these guys are so powerful that no matter how many times you retaliate with a bunch of Abbots, you're going to do a lot more damage with the uh, Guardians or the Justicars. So I would say probably better to get more of these than the Abbots. I don't know. 
Unless you just really, 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 really like ranged units, then I would say go the route of the Abbot. Go the route of the Abbot. Alright. So what we're going to do is attack whatever I hit here. That's what I thought I was going to hit. I wasn't sure, though. There we go. Ooh, we got a, a lucky dice roll there and some critical strike action going on. We're going to try to kill off that dude in the back. Not, oh. Say, it's not likely to happen, but maybe, and it happened, so. Bonus. All right, we're going to go and flank the harpies here. And it looks like this should be... We won't get the kill here. Oh, with the high luck, we will. Man, I'm just going to be wrong all the time. I'm okay with this, but it's still a bit odd. All right, what are you going to do? That's it. That was your play. That was your move. That's not even worth me, worthy of me sending my troops in. I'll just smite you from across the battlefield, because that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty easy victory. We lost one guy. Definitely worth it. Alright, and we're about to get our city, I think, unlocked. And we'll actually be able to utilize it. And Flammo. First things first. Alright, we got plus two might, and we got the Guardian Gauntlets, which I'm not sure what well that done, does. Gauntlets. Now secure the whole area, capture the forts. I want our banners waving on both sides of the road. I'll leave you some men to secure Broken Spear Pass while you're in the field. Who's going to guard Brightsgate while I wander about? Imaril. Let her run the castle affairs. She wasn't born to it, but she's more than able. Who is this Imaril to you? You treat her like she's your daughter. I would be proud to have a child such as she. And were that the case, the world would know it. Our noble blood does not run through her veins, but she has the wolf. Trust her as you trust your own sister. Well, I don't have any sisters. Oh, Leadership fine. was not Ooh. the only test Conrad had set before the young Thomas. Imaril was another. If Thomas could earn the trust and friendship of such a strong woman, then there would certainly be hope for him. Well, man, man, she's not a mul she's not multiple people. She's a singular person. Fix the English. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Two Hammerfall, Lady Red Shield. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Or gross. I, I don't. I'm not sure actually. I'm, I'm I'm a little torn on that one. Oh no 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 no. It swapped over to her. I did not want Emeril being our lead individual there. All right. We're gonna tag up the S. Get ourselves some experience. Maybe there it is. And I guess we'll go and gather some wood. And we can even check on the campfire if we feel so inclined. A trade route would be fantastic, but as long as the forts are ruled by pirates, commerce is impossible. Alright. So there we go, folks. There we go. Let's go to Brightsgate, and we shall decide what the next plan of action should be. Can't get that yet, and we need to get the Mage Guild online. So Mage Guild now, that next, and then finally, uh, maybe we can do that. We might be missing one resource, though. Well, if we can't do that, we'll grab this. That's going to be the next play. Alright, so let's do that. And I am going to... Oh, we can... Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. We can specialize the Mage Guild. So every Magic Guild level will provide at least one spell of the selected school. And I don't really know what's going to be best. That being said, I think we're going to go with air. See if we can't get something like a haste spell to get our units across the field a little bit quicker. We'll give it a shot. Alright, and I guess we ended up with storm arrows is the one. We also got heal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This breaks down the, uh, the healing thing, guys. So unskilled, meaning we don't have any points into the light magic. Um, 10 to 10 plus 3 magic health ten, sorry 10 plus 3 times magic health or 0 plus 15 times magic to 90 plus 15 times magic uh, actual damage uh, light damage so that's it uh, does it say when we can actually resurrect or not it doesn't say that we can I thought for sure, like, maybe novice or expert or master might start going, Hey, you can resurrect at this point. 
but it may be that you have to be able to, uh, someone mentioned, maybe you have to heal the entire amount of the creature that died. So if a creature had, we'll say, 13 health, we could actually resurrect one if, you know, that was the case. But if it had 35 health, we wouldn't be able to. Something along those lines. All right, well, that's kind of cool. And we have the Sunbeam. We already know most of the stuff, but here we go. Solana's Bounty. Doubles the production rate of the target sawmill or ore pit in the same area of control for the next days. Unskilled is two days, novice is three, expert is four, and master is five. Pretty cool spell. I like that. We have to actually get back to the town to do so. Anyway, folks, I'm going to break out the episode here. Hopefully you had some fun. It's looking like this is going to be another great mission. I'm really, really enjoying my time with Might Magic Hero 7. Hopefully you guys are as well. Like I said... This does feel very similar to Hero 6, but it also has a very, very HOM 3 feel to it as well. From the multiple resources, and I don't know. I, I'm a big fan, guys. I'm a big fan. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. I will catch you guys next time, which is going to be a little bit later on. Don't fret. With the next episode of Might and Magic Hero 7. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.